This is a beginner level iMovie tutorial to get you started. I will discuss the basic skills you need to edit video in iMovie. After watching this tutorial you will be able to work with multiple video files, removing parts of the video and rearrange the video clips. I will also show you how to work with sound. Let's get started. This is the interface you will get when you open iMovie. If you do not have any experience in video or audio editing, this interface may look a bit confusing. Do not worry about this interface, with time it will become familiar, and you will get comfortable using this. The first thing you have to do is to import media files. These files can be video files, or audio files, or images. To import, click on the import media icon. You can also drag and drop the files here. I click on import media, and now I have to choose the files. Browse to the location where you have media files, then select and import. I will edit these two video clips where two people are talking over the phone. If you mouse hover the clip, you will see what's in those files on the right side. The main editing area in iMovie is the timeline. For editing you have to take the clips in the timeline. There are several ways to take a clip to the timeline, but I will use drag and drop for now. Later, I will show other methods to insert clips in the timeline, which may be useful for larger clips. As I have dragged the video clips, they are placed one after another in the timeline. You can rearrange them by drag and drop. The reason it is called the timeline is, you get to see what is in the clip in which time. The white vertical line moving with the mouse pointer is called playhead. Press spacebar and the clip will start to play from where the playhead is. The playhead will move as it is playing. To pause, press spacebar again. Once a clip in the timeline, you can start editing. You can trim the clip from the start and from the end by drag and drop. When you trim, you can see the adjusted time length of the clip just above. Like trim, you can also untrim if the clip has something beyond the current clip. Trim allows to adjust clips from the ends, not in the middle. So how do you remove something from the middle of the clip? You can remove from the middle of the clip in two ways. You can split the clip and then trim to adjust. To split clip, take the playhead at that point and then go to Modify, Split Clip. You can also use keyboard shortcut Command B. I take the playhead at this point and Command B to split. As I have split those clips, I can trim to keep only the part one want. I am making clip duration around three seconds. You can see clip duration as I drag to trim. I will also make some splits in this clip too. Split clip is not the only way to remove something from the middle of a clip. When you move around the playhead, you will see a hint. Press the R key while dragging to select a range. So press R and drag. You see a range selected here between yellow borders. You can just cut or delete the selected range. I will select another range here and delete. I will make this clip around 3 seconds long. You can rearrange the clips by drag and drop. Now clips from two video files are appearing alternatively. I will delete the remaining clips. Let's play this. I will take the playhead to the starting position and press spacebar on keyboard. So this is now a 18 seconds clip from two video files. Also I had kept only the necessary parts by trimming and splitting. As now you have the necessary skill to work with multiple clips, let's see some other features of iMovie. You can add transitions in between clips. Click on transitions at the top. And you will get multiple transitions effects. I will use this fade to white transition and will drag in between the clips. Default transition duration is 1 second, but you can increase or decrease if you want. I will set 2 seconds for this. Let's add some other transitions in between. I will choose the slide left next. Then I choose the puzzle right for another transition. Now let's see how it looks with transition.
Here is the fade. And here is the slide left. And last the puzzle right. Experiment with different transitions and find out which one looks best with your video. Next we will see about titles. You can add some texts on top of your video through titles. Here you can see different types of animation with texts. Mouse hover on these title cards and you will see a preview of that title on the right. Drag and drop a title card to the timeline. You can position the title in the timeline when you want it to appear. Notice the title I dragged on the timeline is one a separate track. On the timeline you can have multiple tracks so that you can add elements on top of each other. For example I want the texts to appear on top of the video, so I add the title in the top track. To edit texts, double click on the title here and start typing. I want the title to appear after some time, so just placing it when I want to appear it. Let's play it and see how it looks. Okay, I made a mistake as I haven't pressed enter after editing the title. I will edit the title again. This time I press enter, so title changes are saved. The changed title appears. You can change the title fonts and colors. To change text style, click on the added title card. IT symbol will appear here, and click on that. Now you see different styling options for texts. Click on this icon and color picker will appear. I will change the text's colors to black, so it can be seen while the fade transition happens. It is looking great now. Next thing we will see, how to add sound effects to your video. iMovie has some built-in sound effects and those are pretty good. You will get iMovie sounds in the audio tab. These sound effects have a few categories and click the one you want to test. I will go to these jingles. You can hear the sample before using it in your project. Let's choose a theme music which generally gives overall a good vibe to your video. This playful one is nice, drag it to the timeline. When you add an audio, it will be under video tracks in the timeline. You can adjust from where the audio should start. I will drag it to the beginning. Let's see how it is looking now. Notice one thing, the audio duration is more than the video clips. So we need to adjust audio duration here. You can split audio clips the same way as video clips. Also you can trim. This slider here expands or collapses the timeline, I will make the timeline compact. Now I will drag the audio clip to adjust the duration. I am using an iMovie built-in audio track here but you can import any audio file and drag that to the timeline. iMovie has some audio specific settings. Click on the volume icon here and you can adjust the audio settings. You can set the volume level of the audio, drag the slider to decrease or increase the volume. You can also use this noise reduction equalizer for your audio. Adjust this slider to reduce background noise and set an equalizer for your audio here. This is not the only way how you can adjust volume level. If you select the audio clip, you will see a white horizontal line. When this black up and down arrow appears, you can drag up to increase or drag down to decrease volume. The circle you are seeing here can be used to fade in or out the sound. To start you can fade in, so it starts in low volume and gradually levels up. At the end you can fade out so it goes down from high to low volume.
you can control the playing speed of a clip. To play faster or slower select the clip and click on the speed icon. Then from this drop-down select slow or fast. As I have selected to slow the clip, duration is increased as it will take longer time to play. With faster play, you can choose how fast it will be. It can be 2 times faster or 4 times or 8 times. Another useful thing is to crop the clip. Using crop you can adjust the visible part of the clip. To crop, click on the crop icon. For example I want to crop this third clip. I select the clip and click on crop. Current style is fit, I change it to crop to fill. Now I can readjust by dragging from the corners. Notice the cropping always maintains the aspect ratio. When all the editing is done, it's time to export the video. By exporting you get a file which you can upload anywhere or send it over. To export, click on this export icon. Then click export file. Here you can choose the format. I want to export both the video and audio. Then resolution, the better the resolution, the more space it will take. Also you can choose which kind of compression to apply. Faster will take less time to export. Click next and choose a location to save the exported file. I will name it Teletalk. The export has begun and you will see the progress here. If you have a larger video then it will take much time to export. Once export is complete, you will see an export successful message. This is the video file generated by iMovie. So I got a single video file from all those clips. So far I have discussed how to edit everything under one project. But there will be cases where you will be working on multiple projects. For that, click on Projects tab. Give the project a name. You will see all the projects here. To create a new project click on the plus icon. If you want to make a trailer choose trailer, otherwise choose movie to edit from your clips. Now you can import video for this project and start editing. To open another project click on Projects. You can open other projects from here. To the start of this video, I said there are multiple ways to take clips to the timeline. Let's see a bit about that. I will delete the existing clips. When you click on an imported media, you see a yellow border appear with a handle. You can drag and drop to adjust the yellow region. Then click on the plus icon. When you have larger files this can be a good way to take a clip on the timeline. So this was all to get you started editing in iMovie. At the beginning it takes some time to do basic things. But once you are fluent, most of the editing will become very easy. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Please like this video if it is any help to you. Also let me know in comment what kind of tutorial you would like to see next.